everyone so as you are getting uh, you know reference research proposals on uh, platform of fearpedia for uh, various higher educational courses where you are applying especially ms programs my this video is related to one such department which is ocean engineering department which is there in iit madras and uh, ms for ocean engineering requires a research proposal we already know that research proposal required by iit madras is only one passage in which you have to tell very specifically what research you want to do once you join this course and uh, i'll be telling you that uh, this department is very good and very less students are even aware that the career opportunities you get from ocean engineering department are as good as the career opportunities which you may get from your core branches like mechanical engineering civil engineering applied mechanics etc you are going to work uh, on the same uh, uh, tools and techniques and you know you are going to up upskill yourself in the similar manner if uh, there is a job of uh, computational fluid dynamics or you know analysis of that you are going to get that so uh, these are only departments but the kind of learning you have uh, is same and the moment you graduate from ocean engineering department or mechanical engineering department the kind of companies which you can join are same now let me give you uh, you know show you the typical reference research proposal which you can think of making the method to make research proposal is like you will go on the site of particular institute in this case uh, we go to ocean engineering department of iit madras and then little bit idea about what this department is all about and what this is offering sometime you know on the website it is also mentioned that what kind of jobs you can look for like you know schlumberger and uh, this uh, shell kind of companies are big names so you can get these kind of jobs if you graduate from this department uh, from this particular specialization now area of uh, research mentioned on iit madras website are this no depends if you are interested in structural engineering civil engineer you are you can go for this if you are interested in your know, in uh, let's say uh, thermal side or fluid side you can always go for ocean energy kind kind of domain or wave hydrodynamics so it depends uh, uh, what you want so as you can see in ocean engineering department there is a combination of you know design aspects uh, thermo fluid aspects or material science aspect so those kind of uh, research areas exist in this when i went further and i saw what professors are working and what faculties are working then i got uh, some you know uh, inputs related to their work i i could see what narendran kumar is doing as faculty in this department so this is his work what he is doing i got it from one of his research paper abstract or something so this is what i found that he is working in this particular area so he is comparing here uh, you know uh, the fossil fuel based energy which is non sustainable with how we can get you know sustainable form of energy using ocean energy so that is what uh, we got uh, from uh, i got from his research paper which he published couple of years back and uh, this is the research proposal which i prepared on the basis of that so first you can show that why you want to be in ocean engineering you want to work in this field because you realize that ocean energy is there ocean engineering deals with use or harnessing of ocean energy for the benefit of human being so that is a sustainable form of energy now it will help many communities especially on the coastal areas and as you know india has a very vast coastal line and it can be really helpful for the communities living near coastal lines uh, you know of india if we are in position to make use of ocean energy properly so uh, environmental impact of uh, generation system uh, because of fossil fuel is something which is not good global warming uh, it is producing so uh, you want to work in the ocean energy domain which is sustainable form and uh, then you can tell further that what you you know want to do in this and uh, uh, you want to make use of harness it you want to make use of it and then you can always refer some of the more research lines from people like professor narendran who is working in this particular area so one passage is showing your interest in which direction you want to work and the moment you go in the interview he likes your uh, approach then he is going to ask you that what is there in, in your mind how you will do that so there is a next stage in which we prepare for the interview on the basis of research proposal so the moment you get call research proposal you have sent the moment you get interview call and then they are going to ask you what you want to do that decides your selection so very less students uh, you know are aware about this fact that the selection in very prestigious institutes like iit madras does not only depend on gate score that is only one criteria even at very less gate score if you tell them that you are interested in research area and you have knowledge about the research area you can get admission in these institutes only thing is you should invest some time on the research area 
and prepare really well do some kind of mock for the interviews is going to conduct for you and that makes the day for you and you will get selected in this keep seeing all the research proposals which i am publishing on the website of your pdf for your reference all the very best thank you